I want to talk with Ryan in LA as okay. our last caller. Um, so to our German caller, uh, do we want to take them on Discord or do we want to have them call in next week? Because I love the conversation topic. Absolutely. I think that uh, if if they want to come over to Discord, we can absolutely talk with them there or call in next week. Either or works for me. There's a Star Trek analogy. I want the world to have this. <laughs> okay, but uh, let's go on and talk to Ryan. Absolutely. Ryan, you're live with Eric and V. What would you like to talk about today? Hey. Hello. Uh, I was open to talk about trying to get value out of religion without necessarily believing in supernatural beliefs or anything like that. Um, I was raised Christian, mm -hmm. but, and I found my way out of that probably whenever I was 16 or 17. And I've, I don't know, in reading about Eastern religions, at least, and some with Christianity and, you know, Abrahamic religions, I find that I can gain value out of different concepts or ideas without necessarily, you know, believing anything supernatural, like a God exists or whatever. And I was just wondering if y'all do that and what y'all think about that. And I don't know. Eh, yes and no. I think that we have the ability to extrapolate useful information from a whole variety of sources. Uh, for a good three years, my primary religious text was Lord of the Rings. Do I think it existed? No. Was I able to glean a lot of very valuable information from it personally to inspire my own journey? Absolutely. It was fun. It was awesome. It has a great place in my heart. Right now it's Star Trek, right? Star Trek is a, is a view of the future that I know isn't actually going to happen, right? But it, at the same time, it gives me that hope and that, that optimism, especially in times right now. I, I just got a note from the, the crew. I said, L.A., it's Louisiana. I did the thing. You did the thing. I yeah. did the thing. Ryan, you are such a sweet person for not pointing that out immediately. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Derek. What a but my, my, and so, of course, I know people who do not believe in God, who consider themselves Christian because they like what Jesus said and find value in that. I personally am unconvinced that Jesus said anything particularly more impressive than any other figure in history. Like, I don't get the fan club necessarily. But sure, if, if what Jesus says speaks to you, use that in your life however you want. Cool, as long as you're not hurting people. So on the one hand, yeah, you can absolutely glean value from anything and you don't need to believe in the thing to do it. At the same time, though, the other side of that is a lot of these people who don't believe in the God claim, but it, like elevate the any you know religious components are providing cover for the harm that that religion does elsewhere. So if you were to say, well, I don't believe in God, but I consider myself a Christian and I use that Christianity to be a force for good in the world because I'm inspired by it cool, that's good for you. And I have no right to tell you not to view the world like that. But I would ask that in addition to doing that, you call out the harm that that religion is doing in other areas. I think there's an instinct to say, well, I'm not like those Christians, or I don't believe in the same things, therefore it's not my problem. But if you are going to be providing cover for a religion by you know, using it to extract value and be vocal about that, then the, the flip side of that, the responsibility that you have then is to hold other people who use that same label or find value in those same things accountable. So that was a long rant. Uh, I'm interested to hear what you and Eric have to say about it, though. Uh, if you want to respond, because I, I, I actually I really don't have too much more to add. You're, I, I think you hit the nail on the head, B. Um, I, I really am, am interested, Ryan. Why do you want to? Why do you want to get value out of religion as an atheist? What's motivating you? Um. I think it's more of just I'm interested in what people think and why they come to conclusions and their views of the world. I don't know. I'm very interested in psychology and sure. all of that. And I, I really appreciate your answer, V, and talking about providing cover. I certainly don't want to be doing that because, mm -hmm. you know, I certainly recognize the harm that religion can cause. And, you know, I cert and I wouldn't even – I wouldn't call myself a Christian or Buddhist or whatever. But, yeah, I I don't know. I just – I'm. it's more of an interest in it. I just – Religion is very interesting to me, and I, I appreciate you know this show and y'all talking about it so much. I don't know. 
Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so, um, yeah, I, I, I oh, uh, our, our crew just uh, suggested checking out the Skeptics Annotated Bible. Um, and I will give you a warning just based on my own experience. And that is times that I have wanted to look for beneficial things in the Bible has come when I've wanted to find common ground with a Christian person that I care about and, you know, be like, oh, well, I, I recognize these moral things so that we can kind of have the same starting ground. Here's the problem. We as humans have a very, very difficult time pinning down the, the cause of our actions. And because of that, we misattribute it. So the, the it, it's interesting, like the question, why are we moral? You know, the, the, the religious response often is we're moral because we have some kind of Jiminy Cricket, you know, and, and, and then they'll come at it backwards and we have a Jiminy Cricket, therefore we're moral. The fact is we behave in a moral way. So that why, why do we do that? What is that? And how can we discuss that that way? You may be giving more ground than you're going to be able to have in an effective conversation if you do that. Um, so study the phenomenon of morality. Because when you get to people saying, oh, this is why I believe it, I think that's BS. I think there are tons and tons of people who think they're moral because of the Bible. And the fact is they're moral because they're good freaking people. And they don't give themselves enough credit. And because of that, I, I just, I don't trust the conversation in that direction most of the time. Okay. That makes sense. Th thank both of you for your answers. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks for yeah. calling in, Ryan, from Take Louisiana. Care. And not LA. And not LA. 